grade four math practice test for T in ready. Currently, this is question number four. Who knows in the future what it'll be. Cindy measures the lengths of beads she is using to make a necklace. She creates a line plot to display her data. So the line plot here has bead lengths. So each one of these little X's represents a specific length um, as shown in inches here. Cindy places all the beads into a straight line, end to end, so she just lines up all her beads. What is the total length in inches of the beads? So the first thing we can do is look to see how many beads she has total. 1x, 2x, 3x, 4x, 5x, 6, 7x. So she's kind of doing this with them. Some of them are longer than others, but generally speaking, this is kind of what they're doing. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. What I need to do is figure out how long that chain of beads is going to actually be. So I'm going to make seven little underscores here, or underlines eventually. Each one of these representing the length of a bead. This is two fourths. This is one. This is zero. So if I think like what's probably between probably between zero and two fourths, well, zero mm, two would say zero one two. So this is one fourth. And then by that logic, zero one two. Mm, one and what's one really in fourths? It's four fourths. So that would make this zero, one, two, three. Oh, there it is, three fourths. Now I can figure out how many uh, or what the values of the beads are in terms of total length. I am going to keep this in fourths for now. So this one I'm going to keep as four over four because if you have four parts and you have all of them, it's the same as shading in the entire circle or whatever the original unit was. So I have one, two, three, one fourth. But instead of doing something fancy, I'm not particularly a fancy person as far as math goes. Like that. And I may even make a note up here to myself visually to say I've covered these. That way I don't forget them. I'm the type who gets lost in the middle of a problem. Then I have one, two, two fourths. Then I have a three fourth, and then I have a four over four. So now when I add fractions together, if I have a common denominator, so the bottom number is the same size, so we're working with sizes like this. That's one fourth, and then there's three fourths, two fourths, that's the whole thing. But I'll keep that. So four will be on the bottom. And then I have one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, and even then I might go one, two, three, and like put a little note to myself that it's three right there. Four, five, I may take a note. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. I might not. It just sort of depends on what I feel like I need to do. So now that I have fourteen fourths. That's not an answer choice. So what I need to do is figure out, well, how many groups of 4 over 4 do I have in there? So if I think about 14, I have one group of 4 over 4. And if I take 14 and I subtract 4, what I'm doing is creating whole numbers here. So 1, I have 10. So if I take another 4 away, that gives me that takes me down to 6. So another 4 over 4. So I have two 4, to four over 4s. And then I'll do 6 minus 4 again. And I might actually do this sideways. This is kind of messy math. Probably shouldn't write your stuff like that. So reset each time. It also tells you how many times you've actually done it. So I have 1, 2, 3, 4 out of 4s. So I have 3 holes. And what's left over? 2, right? That goes 2 out of 4. So I end up with 3. And two fourths. If you can do the division, that's awesome. If you can do your fours, if you count by, like you skip count fours, that's easy. Four, eight, twelve, sixteen, right? So this is too much. So I have one, two, three of them. That's where the three comes from. And then you just do fourteen minus twelve because this is fourteen, and you get the two. That's where that two would come from, and you end up with three and two fourths. So there you go. Choose your method and. 
make little notes to yourself along the way and you'll end up doing a lot better than you would think because you don't get lost so easily, especially if you're like me and you have no attention span at all. <laughs>